Let's say hi to John in Virginia. John, what's up? Hey, boys. Hey. Morning, Princess. Hey, buddy. Um, I was at the uh, Voss show on Saturday night, the 7.30 show, and first off, he absolutely killed. But I wanted to say at the end, he said he closed his show with, I, I want to get serious for a second, and brought his baby on stage and did a five-minute sappy parenting is fantastic, and I think you should do it. I'd like to Stop knock stop it horse teeth out. <laughs> Dude, please and tell I'm, me uh, you're kidding. Not at all. He brought Bonnie and the baby on stage and did a, you know, just to be serious, guys. I just want you to know how special father, you know, being a father is, and uh, you know, look at my baby. And then on the way out, when he's uh, when he's signing stuff and shaking hands, he's got. Please uh, say he dropped you know, it on its soft spot. And a baby in the other. He is. Oh, something. yeah. I don't know though. When it was, my, when, it was thick and when my kid's born, I think the last five minutes of every show is going to be a kid's uh, moment. Oh yeah, yeah I great. Think so. Good. Me and Jim over. could leave early. I think so. <laughs> we'll do a little kid's moment. <laughs> that could be your kid's moment, and I'll be in my I'm Escalade thinking, driving down Fifty Seven. I, I think we need to do a, a, a kid's moment when my kid is born. Just uh, keep it all cute for everybody. I think he can hop in his truck and drive around to school and have his own kid's moment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, five boys. Either way, great show nonetheless. All right, John. Uh, all right, John. All right, John. Okay, John. All right, John. Rich Voss, what's up? What's going on? Hey. Oh. You, I, we heard you had a nice little... Uh, I'm just... I'm disgusted. <laughs> we heard you had a nice With kid's you. moment at the end of your show down there in Virginia over the weekend. You brought out your kid for the last five minutes or so? Oh, well, first of all... By the way, before we beat you up for the next ten minutes, it has to be said... That uh, getting rave reviews on your show this uh, past weekend. Yeah, except it's, for the last five minutes. Except for the last few minutes when you did a little kids thing. Well, well, first of all, walk us through <sighs> what what happened because we're getting reports. Well, here's the uh, the show was great. Right. I mean, it was a uh, great crowd. It was a great club. Uh, you know, and it's just I'm just on stage, and I'm you know I'm at like an hour and ten minutes, and I, like I don't have any. Uh, concept of time up there. I want to just keep going, you know, because that's really my only social life is being on stage. Oh, God. And I see Bonnie back in the curtain, you know, she wants to go home, back to the hotel, because the baby wants to get some sleep, I guess, you know. I, I, they got to do that. I guess they like to sleep or whatever. It was kind of late. And she's going to wrap it up. And I see the baby sitting there all cute and stuff. You know. <laughs> Did you take a sleeping pill last night? Why? You're like, uh, well, I just, I'm, I'm sorry. Listen, here's the deal. The phone rings. The phone rings. Mm -hmm. I, they wake me up and say, Opie and Anthony want to talk to you. Right. I'm sorry that within the minute I didn't run and take a shower and do a workout and completely wake up. How about you splash some water on your face at least? So what happened? Go ahead. So, so Bonnie wanted to bring the kid to the hotel, and then what? Yeah. So you look over, you see your kid. He said, walk us through it. What do you want me to do? Oh, and then the... I didn't say in real time. And then, and then the Pope came by. I didn't say in real time. You know how to do radio. Okay. So I'm on stage, and she wanted to wrap it up. I see the baby sitting back there, and I, and I told her to bring the baby out. You know, <laughs> I go to the audience. I go, who wants to see the baby? And everybody's clapping except the ONA fan. <laughs> of course. No one would do it. Those were courtesy claps. Rich, do you understand something? Trotting your child out on a stage, I mean, it, of course you think the baby's adorable. It is adorable. I've seen the little Rich Voss baby. It's adorable. Looks just like Bonnie. And it's, it's, it's as cute as a button. That's smarter than Rich. Of course it is. You could have brought a rock out on stage and claimed the same thing. Rich. You don't bring a ki the kid out like that. It's it's a douchey moment that has nothing to do with comedy. It ruins it ruins your credibility. You probably killed because you always do. You're very funny on stage, and then you end the night. Your closer is, and now let me bring out my kid. Well, what, what are you? What are you, Don Rickles? Where you you gotta uh, make up for for everybody? You know, I kid it all night <laughs> about the you know ends and the friggin' C's and the. Peas and the. Maybe you've never tried to sell DVDs after. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this a sales ploy? Well, I have to feed this thing. Yeah, the kid was holding your DVD. Maybe you bring the baby. Hey, hey, Voss, did the whole crowd go, aww? You think, well, first of all. You have a beautiful daughter. You. you and Bonnie, you know, you made a fine kid there. I, know oh, I thought you were talking about the oldest one. They're all hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so Should parade that one out on stage, nude with a pole. <laughs> <laughs>
know what? Why don't you just go take a shower right now? You're disgusting. Okay? And, and my daughter would leave with another girl before you. Anyhow, listen. Oh, yeah? Is that a challenge, mother? Is that a challenge? <laughs> oh, really? Listen. Uh, no. Yeah, it's just uh, daughter. I don't I care. <laughs> it's the worst. You really are. It's, it's a good guy. <laughs> It's He's rich. done some great stuff for our show, and you're just challenging him to... I, know. That's okay. I didn't challenge him. He kind of put it out there for me. Yeah, but you're... You know what it brought up? How hot my 17-year-old is. You did She's make us... a cute girl. What am I going to say? You made us all very uncomfortable after the PNC show, because Rich was really getting pissed how you were going after his daughter. And I really got her phone number. And really wanted to say something, but knew if, 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 it, got, if it went bad, then, then, I don't know, he wouldn't be on the radio show anymore, so he had to kind of allow it to happen he didn't want it to allow it well, to happen anyone else that did that to his daughter he probably would have uh, done that that kung fu crap she's jewish she could appreciate my wealth wait, wait, here's the deal. <laughs> your power is behind the microphone yeah you really think if you walked into a bar or somewhere and met my daughter you would really have a shot do you really think so i mean with i mean not being opie and anthony do you think you have a shot what being tin knocker anthony no no what am i delusional <laughs> No, just even being right now, mm -hmm. you walked in, do you think your oldness and your... My oldness? <laughs> Look who's talking, you I'm fossil. I'm trying to hit on this stuff. You got Bonnie. <laughs> what do you think that comes from? It comes from, from uh, my my looks and my sense of humor. Oh, stop and it. Bonnie's low self-esteem. <laughs> exactly. Well, that too, of course. Let me tell you something, Rich. Be, just the act of being on the radio and dealing with people has given me uh, confidence. Has given me a confidence that I never had um, years okay. ago. I've seen you walking down the street with your hood on, okay? It's because I'm cold and it's the city. Who am I trying to impress? Muggers and homeless? <laughs> in June? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You did wear the coat last week and it was pretty warm in New Who York. Who can tell? It was... <laughs> Mr. Confidence walking like a like you've got scoliosis with your head tied up so no one can see you. Okay. All right. So, it was cold. Back of Notre DJ. Listen, here's the thing. Here's I, the thing. Of course. My daughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm keeping it down. Sorry. Uh, oh, oh no. God. Oh, oh, you just. What happened to Rich? <laughs> Rich, you're on a national show. This is good for you. And, and Bonnie's getting mad because you're talking too loud and you might wake up the kid. The kid has a performance tonight. <laughs> Yo, are you going to drag it out on stage again? Yes. Did she That's just... so we can deduct everything he buys for the kid as a business expense. <laughs> Did she just walk out of the bedroom <laughs> saying, please keep it down? No, 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 no. Down. As opposed to when he's in the bedroom when she's like, could you please keep it up? <laughs> 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 you know what? I know the three creeps that probably even called you or or emailed you that we brought the baby out on stage. I know they were sitting, and I know which ones they were. Probably we got spies everywhere, but uh, they also said you did really, really well. I well, just so so you just brought her out and and let the crowd admire the the kid, and then what? It wasn't planned. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't go what are you guys, Sonny and Cher, <laughs> trotting out that dyke chastity? <laughs> <laughs> Gypsies, tramps, and dopes. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> uh, it wasn't. Planned. I got you, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. We, you know, I don't go. Okay. Dummy and Cher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boss, how are you supposed to bang uh, broads on the road if you're bringing your wife and kid along with you? So I would never do that. I would, why would I do that? Second of all... Uh, Sorry, it was just a joke. Jesus. Oh. Wasn't going for a real moment, you idiot. I would never do that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You know, you guys call, and it's like... All right, hold on. Sean in North Carolina has something. Shh, Rich, quiet. Sean, you're on with Rich Voss. Uh, Bonnie's afraid boss is going to wake up the kid. Meanwhile, he's putting the listeners to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got, <laughs> you got made fun of by a guy with a weird accent. What did he say? You're putting the listeners to sleep. Bonnie's uh, worried that you're going to wake the kid, but you're putting the listeners to sleep. It was a good line. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to defend myself. I, I, you know, it was a nice moment. You know, only O and A fans aren't at my show. 
Okay, there were some people in the audience. Yeah, but people don't even like that. I just know it. People don't like when other people's kids are trotted out for entertainment. I had a record DVD show. I think there. I think there's a curiosity factor. It's no. like, especially the ONA people that have heard that Voss has become a new father at the age of 57. It's funny if you hold it by its feet, maybe. And swing it around. Yeah. But if you bring it out with this maudlin kind of, and this is my baby, I oh I'm, I love my you know blah 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 blah. blah. That would wreck your night. Oh, it ruin it. <laughs> Why? It's because just, who the hell wants to hear that it's, drivel? It's just a quick moment. It's a comedy show. It's so it's at the end of the show. Here's my baby. Oh, blah blah blah. Buy my a DVD. Chicken wing at it. <laughs> have a good uh, have a good rest of the weekend. See you guys all soon. President no harm, really. Walk around with his little kid, little John John and stuff. He was the president, you know? Yeah. Not, not, oh, JFK? Pairing yourself yeah. to JFK. Yeah, well, for three years he did. <laughs> no. and, John, and hopefully your daughter will be saluting the same way John John was. <laughs> Bonnie will be on the trunk looking for anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You'll have to pull out a mat. You'll see Bonnie on the trunk with a magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> Tweezers. And he blew his brains out. <laughs> It'd be like an empty coconut that an M&M fell out of. <laughs> oh. They'll find like they'll find like a big bullet by the side of the gurney, but it'll just be one of those dumb teeth. <laughs> the magic tooth. It, uh, it's very little spice say how much I kill on stage or kill yes, they, they absolutely that. did yeah all right rich we got to go that uh, was, oh I had a tour of the White House the West Wing I, did you yeah. oh really? that was cool how was that it was cool did you bring your baby <laughs> Hello? I hung, you up. hung up. Why? I don't know. Because Bonnie was probably going to yell at him again for being too loud. <laughs> so Cause, funny. Cause he really thought we wanted all the details of his tour of the West Wing, probably. <laughs> she 